What's up guys, Andrew from Silver City Reef back with another video and today we're going to try to get the frag tank up and running. I have the 20 pretty much empty. This was the quarantine tank. So I took the Royal out, put her in the main display and emptied most of the water. There's a little bit left so I'm going to take care of that next. Um, sorry if the footage is a little shaky. I'm not using my tripod at the moment. But, as you can see, the frag rack is done. Didn't come out as well as I wanted it to, but it's good enough for what I need it for. I figured we'll put low light on the bottom, <coughs> medium light here, and then... SBS acros mostly would go here. I built a custom tray here, caddy, whatever you want to call it. Um, problem is it's held in by that little drain piece right there, but it's got a bottom, a middle shelf, which is where I stuck the media pier, and then this top portion figured I would use for maybe filter floss. Um, not really sure. Looks like it's sitting a little bit higher than I expected. Uh, the second chamber is empty. Third has the plastic bio balls in half of the sponge that came with the kit. And the fourth has the return pump. I think I'm going to put the heater in the second chamber and I'm not sure what else that may actually be it um, I was thinking about either doing a DIY skimmer or maybe just getting like the reef glass one I'm not really sure I need it um, where my main tank has no phosphate no nitrate um, I'm hoping I can fix that problem with this and actually maybe have some nutrients I guess we'll see what happens anyways so my office spare bedroom here is a mess uh, the media pier block that I had planned on putting underneath the frag rack won't fit it's got this weird curve to it so when I put it in go to put the rack over it the rack won't touch the ground guess I should have taken it out and measured it beforehand but you know that's my mistake I do plan on still grabbing some uh, marine pure gems or spears spheres I'm not sure we'll see what happens um, I'm Hoping I said Marine Pier earlier. I keep saying Media Pier. I don't know where that's coming from. But, anyways, I also picked up the Innovative Marine Hydrofill Titanium. Now, this does not come with a pump, but I got it for a pretty good deal. Um, let's see, price tag on it is 75 I think most places have it around 70. I picked this up for 40 bucks. I don't know why my camera won't stay in focus. So I'm still gonna have to pick up a pump not sure what I'm going to go with might pick up something like the aqua lifter pump so that I don't need to have a, a container with like a big open mouth like a bucket like that or something that I have to put the pump in like I needed with the tunes that I have on the main display which I ended up just going with a 10 gallon for that but 
So this comes with two magnets that, if I'm not mistaken, these hold the sensors. These are the sensors, which also have suction cups for the wire portion, which is nice, will help keep things neat. And you have the controller itself. plug to go to whichever pump you decide to use. They actually, Innovative Marine actually does make a hydrofill pump and it's similar to the Aqualifter pump but it's still, it's a little pricey I gotta be honest. I think it's like another 70 bucks to get it so I'm not sure if I really want to go that route. Um, I guess we'll see what happens or maybe I can get a good deal on one at some point. Now I'm noticing this now that these sensors are actually removable, which is kind of cool. In case one goes bad, you can just pull it off, replace it. But so from what I understand, one would be set as the high level, one would be set as the low level, and that's basically how it deciphers when to fill. Again, we will see once I have it all set up exactly how it works but for now I figured I would just show you guys that real quick um, I still have not figured out how I'm going to mount the Luxbird um, black box style LED light yet I don't really want to mount it on the wall but that may be the only option um, it's really set up for a hanging kit and I kind of like the clean edges on this where nothing's sitting on top of it so we may end up going that route right now my main focus is just trying to get everything in and get some water in it so I can get it going now for the cycle hold on one second So for the cycle, I picked up a couple of products that someone recommended. Um, they're both by Microblift. One is Special Blend and one is Night Out. Now the Night Out, from what I understand, is the starter bacteria. Uh, as you can see down here, New Tank Startup rapidly removes ammonia and nitrite. I mean, nit yeah, nitrite. And then you have this one. I can get rid of the glare. This is the special blend. It says beneficial bacteria cleans and clears water, reduces nitrate, and reduces maintenance. So I'm going to be giving these a shot. Uh, these I picked up at Petco. They actually weren't for both of these bottles. It was like 16 bucks, but to get the small bottle of Biospire was like 13. So it was like three extra dollars, but um, first of all, you're getting probably three times as much, and you're actually basically getting this one, which would take care of your nitrate. Um, I may, I mean, I don't know exactly what the instructions are on these. You guys can pause it if you want to read all of that. Um, again, basic stuff. Turn off UV sterilizer. Instructions, day one. Alright, so it tells you exactly how much to add based on your tank size. So it looks like you add some every few days on the special blend <laughs> and yeah five mils per ten gallons I mean this looks pretty simple and again you can use this as maintenance as well anyway I'm gonna try to get some more stuff on here and I'll catch back up with you guys in a couple minutes 
Alright, so I know I said a couple of minutes, but it's been a couple of days. Uh, I had to get a few things to finish it up. Um, there are some things I'm going to change and that I still need to do. But um, I got the light mounted today. I just used this basic shelf bracket from Lowe's. I did grab a couple extras, so I can actually make it a shelf at some point, but it's uh, good enough for holding the light. I did drill it into a stud, I made sure of that. And um, still need to do something with the wiring, I will figure that out at some point as well. Uh, the plastic bio balls are not going to stay. I don't like that they float and don't stay in the chamber that I wanted them in. But I did order some Brightwell uh, export cubes. So they're small cubes and I like the big marine pier cube like I have in the first chamber. But I'm going to give those a shot. Uh, the marine pier block, I think I already mentioned this, would not fit under the frag rack. It was making the rack sit off of the ground. So I canceled that idea. Um, I did add a piece of live rock. Well, dry rock. That will be live eventually. Other than that, uh, she's up and running for now. Again, I do have to make a few adjustments, few changes, few things I still need to add. I did hook up the hydrofill but uh, obviously there's no pump I gotta pick one up there's the timer for the light and the ink bird uh, temperature and humidity controller but I'm only using the temperature side I tried to run the wires as cleanly as possible try to keep this system a little bit neater than you know my last one or even my main display is kind of a little messy not bad but it could definitely use some uh, fine tuning anyways uh, I have the Luxbird light set to pretty much the lowest setting with a little bit more blue like one step up I don't know if you'll be able to see the color difference on camera, but it's almost so there's on and then there's the second step so it's like tiny adjustments you can notice the increase I'm guessing it's probably 5% and I'm guessing the lowest setting is 25% which is where the lights actually turn on I'm not really sure. I will reach out to Luxbird and figure that out for you guys. But I'm running it as low as possible. These things, uh, according to the manual, has some serious par. And I don't need that much. This tank's only like 11 or 12 inches deep. The light is mounted about a little less than 8 inches above the water. Uh, obviously. I don't want too much spillover, but I said overall I am satisfied with the tank and how it came out. Alright, so somewhere along the line I lost some footage, so might as well give you guys an update where I'm at. It's probably about a week later now, but all the frags from the Mini Complete tank are in here and doing quite well. This Blasto has opened up more than I've seen it do since I got it. The Zoas are all opened up and doing alright. The GSP, again, has got, I don't even know how many polyps now. It had three when it was in the mini complete tank. And this is the Rainbow A-Can that was in the main display. 
didn't open up for honestly almost a week so I was getting pretty nervous and decided to move it into here in hopes that maybe it would do a little bit better as you can see I put this in yesterday and it already opened up today so I think it might stay in here for now um, depending on in which order you watched these videos you would know you could possibly know that Frank decided he was going to try to jump and ended up down into the emergency overflow so he was with my pump for the past four days or so finally got him out today when I did the manifold plumbing but here's the footage that I was missing showing you the back chambers there's the media pure cube custom caddy I made out of egg crate second chamber just has my heater and one of the ATO sensors third now has the Brightwell export bio cubes and half of the sponge that came with the tank and the other ATO sensor of course and last and final return pump chamber has the pump and the sensor for the ink burn heater controller anyways that's about it I'm gonna try to get this out it did add some of the night out this one right here and some ammonia the other day and just added more night out today because obviously Frank is in there so need to make sure that it is seated but all right I will do my best to give you guys updates as things go I'll probably just mash a video together probably and like as I do things I'll record it and then as I have enough to make at least a five or ten minute video I will and I'll put it out but thank you guys for watching as usual and just remember reefing ain't easy